Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this last video, I'm going to start with two star questions. So star two and star three are, are genuine star questions in that uh, this is a question that I've used in an assessment in the past. And this question contains a very, very, very commonly made mistake. So pause the video at this stage. I'm not even going to introduce the question. I'd like for you to go through question or example six and seven carefully, word for word, sentence for sentence, uh, and determine where the mistake is. Once you've done that, I want you to fix the mistake prior to class as well. So once you've done that, we move on to example eight. Here we're asked to find the model, determine the constant, and then solve the unknown uh, solve for the unknown if j is jointly proportional to e and the second power of n. And then we're given three conditions. j is 325, e is 5, and n is 10. So here you'll notice that when I wrote the equation, I didn't write a here for the constant of variation. I wrote k. Uh, there is no monopoly for the letter a to be the constant of variation. It could be k, it could be p, q, r, it could be any letter as long as it's not already being used in the problem. So oftentimes a question might present you uh, with a different letter. I, I just used A for the sake of consistency in the past examples and in the definition, but w w in order to stretch ourselves and move into the true problem solving realm, we have to remain flexible and, and make sure that we can solve the question, even if the question gives us a different constant of variation. So here, once we write down our equation, we plug in the numbers that we're given. We're given that j is equal to 325. We're given that e is 5. And finally, that n squared, n is 10. So we replace that with 10 squared. Uh, 10 squared is 100. 100 times 5 is 500. And then in order to solve for k, we need to divide the 500 over to the other side. And once we do that, we get k equals 325 over 500. And we can reduce this by 25, I think. Yeah, 25 goes into 325 13 times. 25 goes into 500 20 times. And this cannot be reduced further, so that's as far as we can go. And then the model is j equals 13 over 20 e n squared. So at this stage, the question is over because we were asked to find the model. We've done that. We were also asked to determine the constant, and we did. But uh, usually, the model is where you want to stop. 